I'm pretty simple for my Monday mornings. I um, we get the sleep in, so I normally you know take advantage of that. If I had no commitments, I'd normally stay up the night before, probably watch a movie. I can really sleep in. I can I could go through it, go through to about 10:30, I reckon, if I wanted. Yeah. So I've been with been with Hainsey for for about five years now, living. So he's done well. He's probably the ultimate roommate because he he cleans, he, he cooks pretty much every night. Mondays, yeah, have changed dramatically, really, because. Uh, at the start of the year, I was going in on a Monday and having to do an 8 to 10k session. Now I get to have, have my sleep in after the weekend's game and casually roll in, get my coffee um, and yeah, jump in the nice warm spa normally and uh, yeah, and then get into the meetings. Um, so I'm definitely happy with what I'm doing now. Um, but it's one thing I do do is um, look at the rehabbers and I understand what they're going through. So I, um, you know, I'm always trying to get around them and you know, keep their morale up because um, it can be tough in there. Last year was um, pretty tough. Uh, I thought I had a, one of my best pre-seasons and um, yeah, around seven I, I went down with, with the knee injury. Um, so it changed everything pretty much. And you don't want to go through it, but you, um, you know, after I've been through it now, like it's something I appreciate and every game I play, I'm appreciating that as well. I, I enjoy latte. I don't know what brand this is, but I don't make them too often, so this could be interesting. But yeah, all I know is that there's a line here, and I'll have to get that in the middle. So if that doesn't, if that's not close to the middle, it's gonna be a really poor coffee. Oh, get up. I reckon that's right bang in the middle, but anyway, I might have to look back on the vision. I like watching things you don't have to think too much about, and Simpsons is uh, one of the favourites. I feel like there's nothing better, I know it's Monday, but there's nothing better than sometimes playing a game on a Saturday, getting up and you've got the, the Sunday morning Simpsons, definitely one of my faves. I think that's the one thing I, I love about my job and being at a footy club with you know, a lot of my mates, like you can joke around and, and have a bit of fun because sometimes you get into this routine every week and um, you know the season goes pretty quickly but you know you can't can't forget you know how lucky we are and got to enjoy it the, the main thing I learned about a long-term rehab program is it's just a roller coaster you come in some weeks and you know you're, you're feeling a million dollars and then you come in other weeks and you're thinking you know I was just flat as a tack and I'd been doing rehab for so long and I went back home and um, I was just really flat because I didn't know if I was going to get to play this year because I was struggling with my knee and um, dad said you know Whatever you do, don't don't lose your sense of humour, and you know, still still enjoy enjoy what you do, and um, you know, make sure you're always having a laugh. And yeah, I think it's it's my way of um, you know getting getting through times when you know things aren't going too well. Just picking up Jacob Hopper. Um, look, I think I'm a little bit late, so if I know Hop, he'll probably come in and have a bit of a sook. Have a look at him. He wants me to park up here. P two. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a pack we've got going. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, hop, hop, chook, and I. It's a really, it's a really tight knit pack, and uh, yeah, chook's the chook's the leader of it. This is actually a little bit, a little bit cheeky by me here, Ab. I just go up this slipstream, get a few cars here, so it's about three or four minutes. We've got the main meeting from the weekend, so if you if you play well, you're front and center at the front row. If you play if you play poorly, you you back row and. Um, and hunched over, so um, this week I'll probably be probably be about row three or four. It's one of those, yeah. See, I reckon this guy's, nah, he's turning. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not gonna get through. I'm not gonna cut it, cut it. That's me, that's me. Yes. Uh, against St Kilda on the weekend, it was um, at half time, we, we were definitely in a bit of strife, but uh, yeah, it was, it was good the boys could sort of rally together and, and come back in that second half. Did you get that, Ab? Got just snuck in front of him. That's another two minutes. It's your quickest trip of your life. Yeah, back to Wardy. Um, yeah, it's oh, yeah it's something I've always thought about because yeah, a lot of other clubs have those uh, milestones, and because we're such a new club, we haven't heard about it yet. So um, I only found out during the week that he was going to be a Giants life member, and so I think if anyone deserves it to be the well, was Kevin Sheedy, um, and now Callum Ward. Uh, could, he definitely deserves being a life member. Um, as we as we said during the week, he epitomises what what our club and our culture is about. And to hear him say, you know, how much it means to him, um, 
shows how much you know he cares for the club, cares for cares for his teammates, and and wants to be a part of it. So um, yeah, it was good to hear. Hopefully, hopefully one day myself and Hop can can join him. That'd be nice. Absolutely.